The Mexico tragedy continues. Over the past five years, nearly 60,000 people have died in the drug war. And the U.S. has played a big part in it. An obscenely lucrative multi-billion dollar arms trafficking business is alive and well. These powerful weapons are being bought in the United States and end up in the hands of ruthless drug lords. Around 70% of all firearms seized in Mexico and submitted for tracing come from the United States. Most gun sellers don't care. The more they sell, the more they profit. These are the facts. How can this be happening? Mr. X is looking to make a quick and dirty buck, not caring how he does it or for what purpose. He just wants cash. Mr. X knows that there are several gun dealers in U.S. border towns. He knows that he can pass a background check and get 10 or 20 guns in one transaction. Mr. X goes into the dealer and comes out heavily loaded, armed to the teeth as if going to war. These are not hunting guns. These are AK-47s, AR-15s, and other military-style weapons, many made in Eastern Europe. At the parking lot, Mr. X sells the gun to Mr. Y. Easy, quick transaction. Mr. X comes back often, weekly, monthly. His business booms, Mr. Y's business booms, and the drug business booms. How do they get away with it? Arms traffickers know that in the U.S., there are lax gun control laws on the books. Minimal enforcement. There are more than 8,000 federally licensed firearms dealers in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. A multi billion dollar industry that lines the pockets of gun makers, gun importers, gun sellers, and drug cartels, and that has ended with an ongoing crisis and tragedy. At every turn, there's a buck made. At every corner, there's a profit. For example, U.S. gun manufacturer DPMS makes an average of 74,000 AR-type rifles a year. Then sells them legally for $889 each. That's about $65 million in sales for DPMS. That's a lot of money. And we're just talking about one company and one type of gun. This must stop today. And there is a way to stop it. President Obama has the authority to one, enforce the existing ban on the importation of military-style assault weapons. Two, require gun dealers to report massive purchases of military-style weapons. Three, tighten enforcement along the border where the bulk of weapons are smuggled into Mexico. It's now up to you to tell President Obama he must act. Our petition demands action.